Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little video of camping in Montana first to kind of show you where I'm at. Um, I'm in Gillotine National Forest. It's kind of showing you around of where where we are. Pretty remote. Very beautiful. And there's an old logging road is how I got in. So uh, I'm gonna do this video to kind of show you the different uh, things I use camping out here in Montana. Uh, first off, we'll start with the truck so it's a 06 Hummer H3 I'll kind of go through different things that I've done to it uh, obviously I put the grill guard on lights I also have lights up on the top rack Not quite sure if you can see those but they're rigid industry lights LEDs very very bright so it just really lights up everything so here's here's what we use to get up here a little bit dirty right now, but <clears throat> it's a good tow vehicle. Um, done a lot of work to the inside also. Uh, got a, it's a five speed, which is, from what I hear, fairly rare. Um, and up top we have, obviously, navigation. And in the middle we have uh, the whole audio video uh, system in it. So, uh, it's got surround sound going on, and in the back, we've got DVDs in the headrest, so you can actually watch three different things at the same time, which is very cool. And the other good thing about uh, this system here is you have rear camera, so you have backup camera, and you can also watch the trailer or do whatever you need to do. The GPS is a new one. It's a Nuvi cam, so it's got a uh, dash cam also. Records your entire trip, just in case you get in an accident. So that's kind of that. So up top I've put a Gobi rack. I normally carry kayaks when I'm out, but I didn't want to really go kayaking this week, so. Uh, shovel and axe. Uh, we got the ladder up the back. All lights are LED. And on the other side, high left jack, just in case. Never know. So, uh, what I'm pulling here, and what I really want to talk about camping wise, is the camper. So, this is a 2014 little guy, six wide, so it has a king size bed inside, six feet on the inside. Uh, it's an off road version. All skid plated. Not sure if you can see it underneath, but everything is skid plated, so everything's protected and you got bigger tires. Very, very nice. Love this thing. So, other add ons that I've done to this I've got a Climate Right AC heat and dehumidifier piped in. Normally, the pipes are off when I'm traveling. Also, I added this uh, diamond plate uh, box, which carry all my gear and if you can see through the mud I was carrying an extra five gallons of gas for the generator because I don't do campgrounds so on the other side I've got two five gallon military jerry cans for water and a Baja rack that fits over the top secures it all in and so around the back uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this name of this canopy. Paracue, maybe. So, very nice canopy. Um, I've got three sides for it. I got one of them up just kind of show you. And then the other sides are open. So, I only bought three because I always have it over the galley. So, this is the galley of the teardrop. I have done some things to this also. Um, I've added these racks, secured them in, so they're very, very strong, and they don't move around, which is very nice. Not quite see if, sure if you can see the back, but I've diamond plated a backsplash in the back, and it's not the thin aluminum, it is the sheet. So it's, it's also very strong, so I've added all that. So you got lights up here, and it gets darker. And you have a sink with water pump. 
Um, little guys carry about five gallons of water, which is fine because you're just basically, you know, washing your hands or rinsing off some dishes. So with the extra 10 gallons, I have 15 gallons total. So uh, on the other side, two burner stove, propane. Cool thing about this stove is you don't have to carry a huge propane bottle. And underneath you just screw on just a little Coleman bottle. And that's what powers this stove. So very cool on that. Um, the pots and pans that I use are really neat too. Uh, it's a set of magma. And they are nesting. So this is the base. Everything else fits in. They got these little things here. And so you got like, this is your frying pan. So you got your frying pan there. And then each one of them, you can just put the handle on like that. Very simple, very clean. So that's uh, inside that. So I also carry, you know, I, I did the floor, which is nice, kind of nice little rug. You know, it's it's warm under your feet. You can come out of here barefooted, not, no big deal. And I also have a foldable table I bought at Walmart. Uh, so over here to run the, the AC and the heater of Yamaha 2000 watt inverter generator. It's super quiet, love that thing. A little bit spendy, but it's worth every dime. Uh, so that's what I use on that. Show you the inside of the teardrop. Like I said, it does have a king size bed. So you have a flat screen TV, a lot of cabinets up here to get all your stuff. Plenty of room, your legs go under here. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room because I have blankets and stuff under there, but a ton of room. And I've added these shelves here. Little guys didn't come with them, so I made these shelves to match. I've got one on each side. Take you over to the other side here. So this side you got a pretty, like I say, you got a pretty good size TV, uh, indoor outdoor thermometer. And in the back, these are the vents. I'm kind of covered up with pillows, but this is uh, like fresh air intake and also you know, where the heat and the air come through. Now this model has a, a window right up front, which is real nice. It's called Stargazer. So when you're laying here, it's just angled just right to look up at the stars. So there's pleated shades around every door, which is very cool. You do have a sound system, you know, DVD player, USB to plug in your iPod, all that. Um, definitely going to be upgrading the speakers because they pretty much suck so so that is pretty much the inside um, and that's how I do it oh there's one more thing for the food Since this is grizzly territory I do have a Yeti 65 grizzly proof you know throw the locks on and it's just a great great cooler I would highly recommend this to anybody so uh, if you've got any questions about what you've seen, uh, leave me a comment and I'll address them. Alright, thanks. Thanks for watching.